Thank you. Um, I had in mind chat GPT, but I have it from a different angle. <laughs> so let's move on to hit chat me, GPT. Me. <laughs> and yeah. I want to take it from uh, the point of view of um, <clears throat> an SEO working client side who's hired an agency mm -hmm. to support them with SEO. Mm -hmm. And they're now concerned sure. that the agency will essentially sell them SEO, but use ChatGPT Chat GPT um, for SEO deliverables. And okay. that is a real concern that I'm seeing starting to emerge from folks in-house. So what would you say to a client who has concerns about that from a um, client's agency point of view? we will sign something to say that we won't <laughs> I, I guess like that's probably like the like immediate way to like handle that objection yeah. like, no eat is a thing right like what's enough e -E -A -T. like expertise man like authority yeah. trustworthiness we can't be just pumping stuff in there ultimately using ai i think is helpful especially if you're trying to significantly increase the content velocity of a site mm -hmm. um and you can certainly use it as a tool and utilize it as uh, helping to uh, to to support uh, the writer, but nothing will really replace that expert writer. So we have specific writers in specific niches. So mm -hmm. we've got an e-commerce writer, we've got a SaaS writer, we've got a we've got multiple different writers that specialize in those different different niches. So mm -hmm. you're not just getting someone random going. Oh, I have to learn about NFTs or learn about yeah. uh, headphones today. Like we've got someone who's who's at least written and has a portfolio of, of writing for brands like this. So uh, I guess for me, it's about telling them that we won't. There's also multiple tools out there that actually can detect AI writing. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's one thing that we can always say, hey, we won't do it. And to prove it to you, please feel free to utilize these technologies to ensure that that, that doesn't happen. Um, there's many anti-plagiarism things. I think ultimately any agency that's just pumping through AI uh, and using that as like 95% of the content deliverables maybe is is shooting themselves in the foot because ultimately the client's not going to see the best benefit. You're not going to retain that client and they're going to... This is something that frustrates the hell out of me because we have to pick up the pieces, right? The yeah. good agencies out yeah. there have to pick up the pieces and go, hey, I promise we won't. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's what the last... The last agency told yeah. us and we're like well we we won't we're trying to actually work with brands and work with, with people who are trying to make a positive difference in this world and leave leave a legacy um i'm i hope vg is still going when i am no longer going i'm not trying to uh create and, and try and get an extra couple of thousands out of a client but rather i don't want to be the seo agency for six months i want to be the seo for six years 16 years because i'm results focused and results driven so if you're just trying to get a quick buck and make higher profit margins by hiring inexperienced staff, overutilizing on technologies and overutilizing on AI, then ultimately the client that's not following Google's guidelines, right? That's uh, ultimately mm -hmm. won't lead to the best long-term results. And that will lead to a poor relationship with you as client to agency side. And two, it'll lead to a poor relationship with that client in general with SEO. And that's a real shame because we've seen some amazing stories. We've helped some, some businesses dramatically. And, and that's what we're proud of. That's what the people at VG are excited about hearing that. Yes, the writer who's sitting there day to day pumping out content, it can be a bit frustrating. It can be a bit time consuming. It can feel a bit like, what is this all leading to? But when you get a Christmas card that says, you guys, you guys absolutely smashed it this year. Thank you so much for your hard work. It, it, I can't tell you how grateful I am. Please come up and meet my meet my team and meet us in the office. We'd love to we'd love to have a chat with all of you there. Like that's that's what you want. So yeah. I think uh, hopefully making sure that the client understands that you're in it for the long run mm -hmm. and you're not just here to to take their buck. And and that comes down to like really advising them in the right way. I think making sure that we're we're like value led here at VG in terms of like my sales strategy for getting people to join like as a list of a client is to like guilt trip them because I'm providing so much value that they should have paid for it anywhere else. 
Mm-hmm. And if he's giving away this for free, what on earth would they give away paid? Mm-hmm. And yes, I might, I might lose a bit of time every now and then because I'm doing long video audits and over exa- and explaining exactly what, what we think needs to be done and where they're falling short and where their competitors are. But ultimately, if they do sign, we have a, we have a much longer retention rate than, than a number of uh, agencies in our space, or mm-hmm. at least what I understand is kind of industry average. So um, yeah, it's working thus far. Um, yeah, as long as you maintain that long-term mentality, I think it should be okay.